Do you love flashing ROMs on your device, but you just don't know where to find them? Well today, I'm going to be reviewing an app that will make it a whole lot easier for you. Guys, let's get started. So guys, today we're going to be taking a look at an app called XDA Premium. So if we go into the Play Store and we type in XDA, you'll get the option for XDA Premium, XDA, and XDA Developers. We're just going to click XDA Premium. So there's a free version right here, XDA Developers, and the paid version, XDA Premium. Actually, let's turn the brightness down a little. So what we're going to do first is of course go and download the app. I suggest getting the premium app as it adds a lot of cool features and does stuff like takeaway ads and at the end you're donating to the people who built this app which they really deserve it. So once we pop this open, once you first open up this app it's gonna ask you to log in or register. I suggest going online and registering for an account and that's all you have to do and you could get right started on finding ROMs for your device. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop into forums and you'll see these different categories here. All the different devices supported on this website are listed here and you can see there's a bunch of them. It supports all the newer devices and it also supports devices you might have not even heard of or cheaper devices that aren't always televised. So here we have different devices like the Kindle Fire, HTC Amaze 4G. The newer devices are going to be closer to the bottom. So once we get to the bottom, as you can see, we have Galaxy S4s, HTC Ones. So you're probably thinking, I don't want to go through this every time to just find a ROM. Well, what you can do is if you notice, I have stars on some of the different categories. And to do that, you want to find your phone and hold your category, category for your phone and click subscribe. Once you subscribe, they'll go to the top in a section called Favorites. As you can see, I opened up Favorites and I have all my different devices here. So, for example, we're going to pop up into HTC One for this video. We pop up into here, we get a bunch of different categories and sections of the HTC One we could go through. General stuff, help and troubleshooting, <coughs> sorry, accessories, Android development, original Android development, and themes and apps. So, most of the ROMs are going to be found in Android and original Android development. In Android development, you'll have ROMs that are either Sense or TouchWiz, depending if you have Samsung device, HTC device, whatever came running on your phone. In the original Android section, you're going to get stock stuff. So, you're going to get stuff like CM10.1, AOKP, Paranoid Android, and these are all different threads. So, if we go into one Android development, and let's say I want to download the Elegancy ROM, right? Or I want to check it out. So it's going to take you, and you can see there's different pages. We want to go to the first page. And as we get into the first page, they have a bunch of different details for you. So we can see it is intended for the international developer version, AT&T, and T-Mobile versions, not Sprint, sorry. Here we get all the different features of the ROM, and most threads have this, actually all of them should have it. They give you the features that are included in the ROM. Here we also do get the requirements, as you can see. And most, some other ROMs also offer to give you how to install instructions. If you keep going and you read through all this stuff, and you get to the bottom, you could see screenshots and all the change logs and all the different stuff that's been going on with this ROM. And then you get to download. So you can download your ROM straight from here and you'll be ready to flash it straight from your phone. So another cool thing about xdadeveloper.com is they have almost actually even more than a million users. So if we pop to the back or any page you want to go to, there's different people commenting, asking questions, if they need help, if something's wrong, if there's nothing wrong, if they love the ROM. So before you flash ROM, you could read through here and figure out if it's stable enough for you, if it has the features that you want in a ROM, and if it's missing something that you use. So that's a really good benefit as you have a strong community here with you in this app and website. 
So if we pop back, the last thing I want to show you for each device is the help in troubleshooting. Here you could go and make your own thread by holding your menu button and clicking new topic. You could ask any question for your device and most of the time, almost actually every single time, someone will respond and try to help you with that question. So if let's say Bluetooth isn't working on a ROM, you will title it and post it and then someone will hopefully reply to you. Uh, for example, we have someone saying HTC One stuck in Bluetooth and bootloader. So you can open that up and he puts his problem and different people try to help him. So before you even post your problem, you can look through here and see if someone else is having that problem and if it's been answered before. So guys, this is a must-have app if you are a ROM flasher or do anything with your Android device and want to get full customization. Almost all the devices are supported and I highly suggest this app. This is where I find most of my ROMs to review and they are always stable and I've never had one problem with any of these ROMs. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, please do subscribe down below. And the giveaway is ending tomorrow. I'll be announcing the winners in a video and contacting them through my social networks. If you want to still get into the giveaway, check out my channel as this is your last day. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as I said. And yeah, thanks for watching.